the 2025 Jeep Compass. We have some new updates to talk about here, so let's get started. We have four trim levels for the Compass. We have the base model Sport, then we have the Latitude, the Limited, and the Trailhawk at the top. Well, for this latest model year, the Latitude trim level is now going to get standard heated front seats, a heated steering wheel, and remote start. That's great to see. And we have a new limited edition color known as Juice or Jose. I mean, I don't know exactly how to pronounce that, but regardless, it's a limited edition color and there's going to be late availability for it. And we do have the official pricing here. Jeep is proud to say that the Sport and the Latitude, they both start at under $30,000. And this is true. But what's most impressive to me is all of the pricing that you are seeing, it includes the destination fee of $1,595. So the Sport, it starts at $27,495. The Latitude, $29,765. To be honest, with destination, those are not bad prices at all especially since for 2025, the Latitude does come with some more standard features. But I'll talk more about pricing towards the end. Right now, we can talk about some of the highlight features regarding the Compass. So it's powered by the two liter direct injected turbo inline four cylinder engine, producing 200 horses and 221 pounds feet of torque. It's made it to the eight speed automatic transmission and Jeep's four x four system comes as standard across the board for every trim level. So although the Compass, it's not exactly my cup of tea, you can't deny the value is there with the standard 4x4, the decent features, seems to be well-priced, especially since that's the MSRPs with destination, and that's before incentives or any sort of dealer discount. Anyway, you have an available 10.25 inch digital gauge cluster, and when you go with the Latitude, Limited, or Trailhawk trim levels, you will get a 10.1 inch infotainment screen with Uconnect 5 and Jeep claims that the Uconnect 5 it has a operating speed that's five times faster than before all right and these vehicles they do come with standard wireless Apple CarPlay and wireless Android Auto and you can get a wireless charging pad as an option and Jeep claims that there's over 80 standard and available safety and security features which is the most available in its class so there's that as well but should you buy one? That's the real question. Usually, I recommend to most families to just go out and get like a Mazda CX-5 or a CX-50. That's a nice, reliable choice that's really quiet, really refined, and both engine options motivate the CX-5 and the CX-50 really well. However, I can understand why people might be interested in the Compass. It does look decent, and as we can see, the price isn't bad either. However, these things do crash in value, so it's imperative that you take advantage of every discount and every incentive that you can with these CDJR Stellantis products. And in the description box below, I'm gonna provide you a free leasing calculator provided to you by Auto Companion. This is a powerful tool because it shows you the interest rate of a lease, the residual values, and the incentives that you can get in your local zip code. So whether you are financing, paying cash, or leasing, you should use this calculator to see these incentives because incentives always stack on top of the dealer discount. But don't just rely on this calculator. Also go on Jeep's own website and do some poking around because apparently on the 2024 compasses, you can get like $5,500 in incentives and almost none of those incentives show up on Auto Companion's calculator. So I thought that was kind of weird, but that's why you need to utilize all the resources that you can because there's just so much confusion with this brand, even on Jeep's own website. Like they'll say either you can get a $3,000 total cash allowance or 0% financing, once again on the 2024s, and that 0% financing, that's for 36 months. So if you can afford those payments, there you go. But the thing is, when you get the 0% financing, you might not be able to get all of the other incentives and vice versa. So it's just something to keep in mind. And when you scroll down, there's also another section that says you can get up to $5,500 in total cash allowance. And of course, all of this is region specific. So if you enter in a different zip code, you can get totally different numbers. And yes, the lease programs, the incentives, the interest rates, all of these things, they do update every month. And Auto Companions Calculator, and of course, the manufacturer's website, 
Both of these things are going to update every month, so be sure to stay on top of both resources. But let's just say you're interested in a $33,000 Latitude 2024 model year. I mean, just with the incentives alone, you're getting 5,500 bucks. So now you're paying about $27,500, but also try to get at least 10% off from the dealership themselves, which can be like another three grand, depending on the MSRP of the vehicle that you want. So you can get upwards of like $8,500 off the MSRP of these SUVs if you negotiate it right. So although these things can crash in value, you're also getting a substantial discount up front if you, once again, negotiate it right. And how should you negotiate these things? You should always try to find the dealership manager's email and email them the numbers. Never walk into a dealership until you finalize the numbers with the manager. Because if you just walk into the dealership, they're just gonna play all kinds of manipulation, games, and tactics on you. And that's why it's imperative that you know these numbers beforehand. And when I used Auto Companions Calculator to run some numbers with no money down on a 39 month lease, assuming you have perfect credit and also assuming you get 10% off MSRP from the dealership themselves before the incentives, you're at about 430 bucks a month. And the two incentives that I did include was like a select inventory bonus cash for two grand and the national lease bonus cash of 500 bucks. So nowhere near the three grand or the 5,500 that I saw on Jeep's website but these lease programs are not terrible it's something to consider because the interest rate as of right now it's pretty low but if you're negotiating by yourself yeah try to do your best to gather all of the information all of the incentives before you reach out to the manager of the store that you're trying to negotiate with so hopefully this information was valuable to you if it was make sure to like and subscribe but thank you again for watching take care and goodbye